the distilled water passes through the neutralizer where it is treated with carbonates of calcium and magnesium. These carbonates are used as a filter bed in the neutralizer. After neutralization, the distilled water passes through a chlorinator for disinfection. The chlorinator contains solutions of hypochlorite or the powder of calcium chloride. The chlorine present in the water kills the bacteria content in it. After chlorination, the water passes through a sand bed filter to produce clear water. Then the clear water passes to the activated carbon filter bed to remove the chlorine content in it, where it undergoes the process of dechlorination, which will absorb the excess of chlorine content in the water. Thus, eliminating any microorganic contamination and finally potable water is produced. In this process, water is introduced into an ADC anode system which uses a silver anode for sterilization. This silver anode releases silver ions into the water. Silver is toxic to many organisms, so these ions kill the bacteria present in the water. The anode wastage is governed by current flowing. This is adjustable on the controller. At the end of this process, Potable water is produced. Ultraviolet light can be used as an effective means of sterilizing water without causing any physical or chemical change in the water itself. This method utilizes germicidal ultraviolet lamps to produce short wave radiation designed to destroy bacteria, viruses, and other organisms in the drinking water system. These consist of easily replaceable, high-intensity ultraviolet sterilization lamps and a pure quartz lamp tube for peak ultraviolet dosage. These units are fitted in the discharge side of the portable water storage tank so that the water is sterilized immediately before use.